pretty much. Okay, so my voice is off. I got sick again. So my immune system sucks. But today we're going to be doing Violet Balls, the Care Bear collection. It's got the two little palettes. I believe this was like $35 and this one was still expensive. I can't remember the price. I think it was still like 20 something. But <clears throat> I'm going to show you guys what these look like. Towards the end of the video, once the look is complete, I'll show you the pile of other palettes. Well, some of them. I have others that I couldn't locate at the moment. But I'll show you what I do have still that we could try to do a look with. But these are more pastel shades. Really nice. Look, you can see me. So we have those. And <clears throat> we have the bigger one. This bigger one looks like this. And there were a lot of comments that looked like the tie-dye palette. And I did agree because at first, when I first saw it, I was like, I swear it's the same thing. And I've mentioned it before, but it's not. It, like, it's there's subtle differences. <clears throat> so that's, what the, that's this one, and that's this one. Don't they almost look exactly the same? They're extremely similar. But this has more shimmers in it, and this one has more mattes. And the tones in this are different than this one. And they're like vice versa when it comes to the shimmers. So, I'm probably going to focus on this and the conjunction of this one. So, let's begin. At least try to begin. <laughs> I honestly don't know what I'm going to do. My eyes are primed with ABH eye primer. <clears throat> I'm trying to see combinations that I have here. So, like this. These are our options I don't know if I would I really don't know what I want to do I haven't done a look in a while so I'm going to do this purple first I'm going to do that in the crease and this is my Amori Mariposas shadow in 627 an angular shadow brush so I'm put that in here and I think it's cool that the little palette has its own little mirror like they didn't neglect it you know like other companies are like oh my god it's a tiny palette you do not need a mirror in a tiny palette I'm like you don't know what if I'm traveling with just this palette definitely need that one palette to have a mirror I don't know maybe I'm too needy <laughs> so we have that purple that purple definitely translated more pink than I was anticipating but it's very opaque, so I am happy about that. <clears throat> Let me do this one. Birthday Bear. It says trademarked on all of these names, by the way. Does that mean I'll get in trouble for saying them on the camera? <laughs> Lawsuits. I don't know how they work. Funny. Funny, funny, funny. They're blending together beautifully. And then we're going to do this blue. I kind of want to do that on the bottom. Bottom lash line. Even though I'm not even done with the top lid yet. But this blue is gorgeous in my opinion. So I'm going to do that on the intersection right here. <clears throat> so I'm going to start it right in there. And then I angled my head a bit because I lately I've been like blending and like some of the dust will go into my eye. See like there's a tad bit of fallout. You probably can't see it because it's so light. But normally that fallout's been going into my eye. And I'm like I probably shouldn't do that because then my eye turns red. But then we're going to do this one. The Bashful Heart Bear. And no, I don't know anything about Care Bears. If you've noticed, I don't really keep up with, like, shows. <laughs> Anime is a different story. Now, normal, everyday shows and cartoons, not so much. I'm not the best with those. <laughs> and now we're going to go with a flat brush. <clears throat> and I believe I'm going to do this pink shimmer almost all the way across the lid right here so this was best friend bear I believe I want to do that one it's gonna be this is probably the softest like most warm 
eyeshadow look I've done in a while. It's very pink. I normally don't do pink. And then I'm going to do this purple one. The Surprise Bear. It's a beautiful purple. So I'm going to try to get that in here. And blend it in. And I'm going to try to go in with kind of a fluffy brush. Kind of. But still small and circular. And it's still with that um, purple shade. I'm going to try to blend it a bit out because that is the most out of shade that I'm doing and I do want it to blend out a bit more than that. So just that. I know it's a subtle difference but it makes me feel a bit better. Like so. <clears throat> now inner corner. See, quick, simple, quick, simple. And we have this. I love their like really light shimmer shades. They normally tend to pack a really big punch. So I'm gonna do it here. Oh, well, was right when I was trying to compliment them to let me down. They let me down. We're gonna try to build it up a bit more. Mm -mm. Not what I was expecting or wanting there. So I guess I am gonna go in with this one instead as well. And that one's the Champ Bear. It's more of a golden shade, so we're gonna try that one though. Yeah, that's a bit more of what I wanted. So we're going to go with that. <clears throat> Under the brow bone. Oof. Putting all these down. Under the brow bone. We're going to go with the gold one. This one. Funshine Bear. Under the brow. And blend it lightly. And then a little heavier down here. Just for the sheen of it. And I want to see what this one looks like on my finger. So I really don't know what that's... It's like pinky. But not really the best. Okay, so I'm going to do my liner, my lashes, my brows, a lip, and I'll be right back. This is like a super quick video. Alright, so this is the finished look. I added a little bit of um, glitter from Beauty Creations. They have this beautiful like glitter volume 2 box I know I've, sh I've probably shown you guys this box before in other videos but it's got <clears throat> it's got so many cool little ones it's got hearts heart outlines butterflies just normal butterflies normal glitter like kind of like what you see here just the abstract shapes um let me see the diamonds some stars moons I think these are yellow hearts. No, they're cute. Diamonds and more stars in different colors and stuff. And these really come in handy. And the glue I like to use with them is actually from Hard Candy. And you can get it at Walmart. Like, this tube has lasted me forever. Forever. It has that dried out on me. And it, like, I, this guarantees it'll be on there all day. And I'm not paranoid about it falling into my eyeballs and blinding me. Because I'm scared my scratch my cornea. But, um... <clears throat> Yes, as always, beautiful formula. Even though their pastels are very opaque, beautiful, easy to blend. I knocked off my Pikachu tail. Um, easy to work with. I do not have any regrets with those. I don't think I showed that one. Oops, I forgot that one. Oh, my other video I was making. I have too much glue on my desk. So, let me show you the other palettes that I have from Violet Voss that I have not tried. There's the All of You Forever palette. I might, so if you're not interested in the rest of this, like you are free to go. Oh my goodness, my lash is coming up. Did you see it popping up? One, none of you told me. But um, the All of You Forever palette looks like this. <clears throat> this one. If that interests you, like the nice olive tones in there with a few neutrals. If I get a request, those are the ones that I tend to try to do first before the other ones. Maybe that's just my lashes right there. I'm going to have to blend those. And then I have the Eye Pinky Promise palette. I have others. Like, if, you have, if you've heard of Olive Balls and there's a specific palette you want me to try, you just let me know because I probably have it. So there's this one. 
That's the I Pinky Promise, and it's spelled I like I. Ugh, I'm trying to get that plastic to not be bending in there. So there's that. And then we have this one, the sunflower one. I believe this one's completely neutral looking as well. If you watch me struggle with boxes, let me know if you enjoy it because you can relate. Or if you enjoy it because, you know, you're like, ha, look at her. <laughs> but you yeah, the sunflower palette by them is one of their smaller ones. And this one's very much lighter, more cool toned, in my opinion. <clears throat> We got that one. I do have the other one, like the sorbet and the donut, the donut one. And then this was the I Rest You palette. This one came out a couple months ago, like last year, a couple months ago. Obviously, because you're still in January more. I'm gonna try to get this out. So this one is also very like deep burgundies with neutrals and a few like golden tones in there so there's that one also as an option if any of these pique your interest or if you have another palette from another brand or company let me know because of the fact that I'm kind of like stumped on what to get what to test what to try out I do have a more pricey collection on its way to me from Pat McGrath that <clears throat> what is it the um that one club sounding place. Burr, burr something. I'm sorry, I don't, I can't recall it right off the bat. But, there we go. That is today's video. It's a very soft look. I have the Revlon Colorstay Satin Ink. Again, this is the one I can't find its name shade on here. Gosh darn it. But it's this one. I'm sorry. I can't come up with the name. I don't even know what the name is. Lashes are from Glamnetic and Brat. If you're interested in those. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think it's my actual lash lifting. I think that's just... Uh, who knows? Who knows? But either way, thank you for joining me. I hope you join me next time. Let me know if there's anything specific you want to see. If something new you want to see. Something you want me to try on camera. A specific style you want me to try on camera. Any pointers you might want. I'm here for that. That's why I'm here. I'm here to hang out with you guys. But other than that, I will see you in my next video. Bye.